Hi, I'm Philip from the HANA Academy. In this series of videos, we're looking at the XS Advanced model, which was introduced with SPS 11 of HANA. In this video, we're going to get started with XS Advanced from SPS 11. Now, if you've not already been there, I highly recommend that you go to SCN and you check out the Thomas Young's blogs where he's given lots of really useful, great information, a great resource in terms of uh, new developer features, Access Advanced in SPS 11, uh, including links to some of the videos from TechEd, uh, some examples, some tools, uh, and other blogs that it links to giving more detail about some of the uh, key aspects. So uh, really worth visiting. Um, uh, so that's something first that you would uh, really want to go to and read. It will give you a great overview of uh, SPS 11. What we also might want to do is uh, just uh, learn where we might find the documentation. Now, as you probably know, we would go to help.sap.com and uh, normally to the HANA platform. That will give us the main link. And then we would go to the development and modeling section. And you'll find in there that we have a new document with SPS 11, which is the HANA developer guide for XS Advanced Model. So I highly recommend that you would download that PDF and that's something that uh, it's, uh, it's about 300 pages worth so this is a great resource this is more of a reference manual uh, at this point so it's got lots of very detailed and useful information uh, in terms of uh, more tutorials then then maybe the videos in the Academy that we're going to do uh, or uh, are looking at some of Thomas Young's uh, excellent resources that that's more helpful so this developer guide is an excellent reference to what's available so it's uh, nearly 300 pages of uh, exciting reading. There's somewhere else where you should also uh, look to go when you're working with SPS 11 uh, because it, this is quite new uh, capability. Uh, I would highly recommend you go to the SAP notes. So if that, if we go to uh, support uh, sap.com and then we should be able to do a direct search on a, on a note and one to really focus on is a uh, 22338666. So here we can see the uh, central release note for the uh, Access Advanced model in SPS 11. And this will refer you to all sorts of very important information. For example, uh, use uh, SPS 11 for evaluation. Uh, uh, the, some of the developer tools uh, are not there yet. So uh, this is something where you get lots of very useful uh, and important information. And it will give you uh, some additions to the documentation. And also it will uh, give you some other notes that relate to XS Advanced uh, in SPS 11 as well. So this is a great resource to go to. Now what we can also do um, is just check that we've got access. We're going to need access to uh, a HANA system. I'm going to use on-premise in this uh, uh, set of videos. Uh, so we need an on-premise system where the new runtime for um, uh, HANA XS has actually been installed and that's something you do with the regular HANA installation. So what we could do is for example just go into uh, HANA Studio uh, and just check and see for we can access our HANA system. Now normally you will when having installing HANA, if it wasn't you, your administrator uh, will have actually set up an administrator and password for the XS Advanced uh, system. And XSA underscore admin by default is the name of the user. So that's something you're going to need access to that user. So I'm just uh, logging in here to uh, the HANA system. Um, we can first go to security. I'm just going to check that uh, we have a user, and in my case, it is the default name. It's XSA underscore admin. It exists. And um, if you look at the uh, um, the system, let's just go and have a quick look at the services that are running. We're going to want to see the controller service. Um, so we go to the landscape. We'll see which services are up and running, and we'll see that we have, for example, an access controller. This is the new in SPS 11. If that's not there and it's not running, then it means the uh, the uh, runtime for Access Advanced is not there. Same thing here for an Access uh, UAA server. This is part of the security. There's user or, or administration and authentication. Um, and these are different services from the regular XS engine that we've seen uh, in the past in previous releases, which still exists and still runs. It's just a, a separate parallel thing. So check that the controller and the UAA server are up there and running. 
And what we could also do is maybe just go and have a quick look on the web just to check we can access the server through HTTP because that's how we're going to be accessing it. Um, notice this system, uh, it's, uh, it's, we've got the name of the server and we're running a uh, uh, 00 instance. Instance number is going to be important uh, when you want to make connections as it's always been. So let's go back into our web browser. Um, and for example, if we just want to check our name of our server, port 8000, for instance, uh, 00, that's where you would expect to see this just regular classic XS Engine welcome page. That at least means we can access our HANA server OK. But what we could do is to go to the, uh, the web developer workbench, uh, which is uh, forward slash SAP forward slash HANA forward slash IDE. And we could log in there. Uh, we could log in, for example, to the security area. And I'm going to log in as the system user. And here we can see the list of users and we can see I've just selected XSA admin and something just to check here, something that's new. If we look at the third tab showing application role collections and we look there, we'll see that this user has a couple of very important roles. He's got the XS authorization administration role and the XS controller admin uh, role as well, another administrator role. So these are roles that you'll find more about in the developer guide, but these are roles that uh, you will need a user that has uh, rights, uh, not necessarily the full admin, you, there are also more regular developer rights, um, but these are things you, that you will need to be uh, familiar with. Now, what I would recommend in most cases is you, you try to avoid using the XSA underscore admin user, similar to the way you typically should not be using the system user as you're doing regular work and development. Um, you might want to create your own developer user. What you will need to do is to ensure that that user gets some of these rights assigned. Um, so we can see here. Um, if we were to add, you can see we've got, for example, controller, we've got these five, we've got uh, the administrator or user, that's more of a developer or an auditor, and again for the authorization, admin and display roles. So you need to work out which roles you want to give uh, and try to avoid typically using this XSA underscore admin user. But this is where you can define it. It's best that you do this using the, um, uh, the web development workbench where we have this nice UI to actually add these roles, of, roles for a user that you've created. Okay, so that's a quick overview. We've established we've got a HANA server with SPS 11 uh, XSA runtime installed. Uh, we know there's an XSA underscore admin user, and I know what the password is. Um, what we're going to do in the next video is see how we can actually start working on the client side. So what kind of tools, what kind of setup do we need to do on our client so we can start developing with XS Advanced?